And to be honest with you, my freeze frame is John Lennon giving me my gold record to rock me gently. Amazing. That, look, I think there was a lot of wonderful stuff about what's going on today in, in, in medicine and in technology. There was no effing phone back there, no cell phone, no nothing. And I just stared at that moment. And so for me, I just, um, and it was an accident. I was in the chairman's office talking about doing Top of the Pops. And um, uh, he was going to come with me. The door opens. Someone is unwrapping something. Andy Kim, great song. And it's fucking John Lennon. Wow. And I'm frozen. And the chairman takes me by the elbow and kind of ushers me out the door. <laughs> with the gold record. Yeah. And so, um, but to have that happen, it you had to have gone through hell, mm. come yeah. back and have this happen. It's the only way I can see it. Mm -hmm. You put in the time, the anxiety, the work, the you're tired, doesn't matter. I got to do this. I, I, I sat down and, and wrote um, disc jockeys. Hi, my name's Andy Kim. Thank you so much for playing my record. And, and, and people will look at me and say, well, what are you doing? I said, well, I want to thank people. Well, you know what? It's never going to get there. Well, it's not true. When I toured, I saw some, some you know, on bulletin boards. No one, no one had ever done that. I even I even send it to the people that were pressing my records. It's That's the amazing way of my life. I I love that so much, and it is, I want to thank you too for like saying all these things too, because a lot of um different artists and aspiring like creatives uh, listen to these segments, and I get uh, some messages and emails, and I feel like this is like important things that they need to hear. That uh, in a lot of interviews I do, people haven't talked about. You know, like almost like going above and beyond like i know like so many people who make music and sometimes they'll they'll make the art but they're not doing like the extra steps and wondering why things aren't happening for them you know where almost it seemed like in your journey um you're gonna make it happen one way or another you know type of thing and just have that tenacity to just keep pushing and also in a genuine passionate way i love hearing you talk about like you writing people who print the records and thanking them you know it's uh i feel like it's very important and, and important for people to hear who are aspiring musicians yeah you know um uh, inspiration is one thing and the fact that you can write you can hey man there's a lot of I would say there is 90% more talented people on this planet. When I was going to take a bus to go to New York City to try and, and become part of something that I didn't understand, more talented, more focused, more all of that stuff, but there's also an ingredient. You can't give it to people to do it for you. You have to, I mean, I always saw um, everybody that came to one of my concerts as an individual. Mm. I, I, I never looked at, you know, oh yeah, I was selling that many tickets. And stuff. it was always about the people, the fact that they came so honored, the fact that, they, people were listening to my records on the radio. I mean, I was a kid when I heard that that stuff coming from Buffalo and New York, I was like, oh my God, this music. And, and it's really about the art. It's about the music. It's about whatever line of work you're, you've decided to take. It's got to be you. 
your one and only life. What are you doing with it? You can you can get people to help you. I got people to help me. But you have to have the desire to reach beyond. Hey, you know how great I am? Oh, my God, look how great I am. Mm -hmm. There's always someone greater. Everybody's greater. You're just lucky and yeah. blessed.